Lindsay and welcome back to Blushing Pink Stitches. Today is Monday the 25th of December. It's just nearly half past 12. I um, yeah, dropped Bella off at preschool about half an hour ago and I figured I would sit down and film a floss to you video before I have my lunch and do anything else for the afternoon. So this is floss tube number 40. We're getting into some big numbers now, which is amazing. Um, so I wanted to say welcome back to all of those of you that have watched me before. Thank you very much for clicking on the video and checking out what I've been stitching um, these last couple of weeks. And if you're new, then I really hope you enjoy what you see and you stick around for more. <laughs> So today is going to be a very exciting video because I have a big launch to share with you and then I have lots of stitchy updates. Um, for, I've got a new start, I've got some whips to share with you and then also actually I think I have a couple of new starts and then I have some exciting retreat haul. Um, I did post a video on my channel um, last week with a bit of a recap or an overview of the Essex Needles retreat from this September. I went last weekend and I really, really enjoyed it. It was so wonderful. So if you would like to go and check out that video, then it is the one that I posted just before this one. So you might have been able to tell from the, the title of the video, but also if you follow my, me on Instagram, you will have already seen this, but I am officially launching my hello autumn pattern uh, so i launched this on the first day of autumn last week so the 21st of september and um, i'm talking to you about it on my video now so i'm really excited to share it with you and um, it follows the pattern of the the same style of the hello spring and the hello summer designs so you've got this lovely um scripted writing up here with the word hello and then you've got the word autumn with various different motifs and designs in it so um yeah i went with lots of different things we've got leaves we've got pumpkins we've got sort of like a spotty design in autumn colors we've got some fireworks in autumn colors um the tree with the falling leaves and then a sort of a tartan design in autumn colors as well so I'm really, really pleased with how this turned out. Um, it looks really great. I did start model stitching it. Um, so I will show you where I got up to. Um, I'm stitching this on a piece of 28 count white even weave um, from Zweigart. And this is where I'm at right now. So I started in the middle with this letter here, worked my way across, and now I'm coming back again to do the remaining couple of letters. So let me just put this behind so I can show you a bit more clearly. So this is what it's looking like so far. Really awesome. I love how it's come out. There we go. So it's a very similar size to um, Hello Spring and Hello Summer. This one is um, 177 wide by 59 high. Um, yeah, so it's very, very similar to Summer and um, yeah, and quite similar to Spring. Um, so you will need a very similar piece of fabric um, if you stitch the other two. Um, what is even more exciting this time, so the, the digital pattern of Hello Autumn is up on my Etsy shop now for you to grab. Um, but I also um, am offering a paper copy of the chart. So you get um, a black and white copy of the chart and a colour copy of the chart uh, within this. Um, and it's all in this lovely um, plastic bag to keep it nice and neat. Um, and I also added... Hello Spring and Hello Summer as paper patterns um, on, my, on my Etsy shop as well. So if you prefer working from paper patterns, you can now grab one of these from the Etsy shop. And again, I do, um, I do send internationally, so it doesn't matter where in the world that you are. Um, yeah. And then even more excitedly, I am offering a kit of Hello Autumn. 
Um, so this kit contains um, everything that you need to stitch it. So it comes with a piece of 14 count wire ADA. Um, you've got the um, floss card in here. Um, the flosses are numbered rather than their DMC code, but there is a DMC um, colour key in here. Um, you get the black and white chart and the colour chart um, all, all included with it. So that's um, they're up on my Etsy shop now. Um, I have um, a certain number in stock and then when they sell out, I will um, restock basically. So um, yeah, if you're somebody who prefers stitching from kits because it's just easier than sourcing everything yourself, I, I certainly find that it's way easier um, a lot of the time for me to buy a kit of something because then I don't have to fumble around trying to making sort of like you know three or four different orders for things um that I need so yeah if you're somebody like that then this would suit you great and um, so yeah everything that you need um in the kit so I'm super duper excited about that um, do go and check it out. I will leave a link to my Etsy shop down below and a specific link to the um, digital paper pattern and the, the kit as well. Um, I did want to um, also launch my autumn floss drops um, with the with the pattern. However, um, and again, if you follow my, me on Instagram or follow my Etsy shop, you will know that I have been having some trouble with my printer. Um, it's been um, that the, the print quality basically isn't as it should be. Um, so basically at the moment I am waiting on um, some new ink so I can do a power clean to rule out whether it's the power clean that needs to be done or whether there's actually something wrong with my printer. Um, I've got two inks that are on their way that are taking an age to come. So um, to the point where I'm thinking about if they don't come tomorrow, which they're scheduled to come again tomorrow, it's like been rescheduled like three times, um, then I will cancel that order and just go and get them elsewhere. But it's just super, super irritating. So the this is what the um, autumn floss drops look like. Um, really, really lovely autumnal colours and of course um, the, the fallen leaves. So... Um, you will be able to buy these in a set of 24 um, and you will have the option if you buy the kit um, to add or the cat the kit or the paper pattern to add however many floss drops that you need for the pattern so if you order the floss drops separately um, they come in a set of 24 but the hello awesome pattern just has um, 13 colours so it will come with the 13 floss drops that you need at a, a bit of a different price point um, so yeah hopefully keep your fingers crossed for me that um, the the ink turns up and I can do it and it's all okay we'll see um, I also wanted to say about the kit it comes with um, enough DMC that you need plus 10% um, I'm really, I really like to be a bit more generous with the floss because, um, you know, people stitch in different ways. We make mistakes on things, um, and I wanted there to be more than enough floss in in the kit so that um, you have what you need to stitch it basically. Um, so yeah, just wanted to mention that. So that is Hello Autumn. I hope you enjoy it. I would love to see your progress um, on Instagram please do tag me in any posts that you have um, and I will keep you updated on my progress as well hopefully the next time I pick it up I will finish it so let's have a little drink it's a warm day today it's um, 20 degrees which you know for autumn is great um, you know I went out in just my t-shirt this morning to drop Bella off um, and I am wearing a pair of jeans and I was slightly too hot in the pair of jeans on the way home but hey ho I'm not going to change them now um, yes it's lovely and bright I've got the window open um, shall we get into the whips and the new starts let's do it I'll talk about the other thing that went up on my shop afterwards 
yeah we'll leave that until afterwards so i'm going to start with um my famous whip shall we call it um this is a, a super size max color stitching shelf um artwork by amy stewart uncharted by heaven and earth designs this is what the finished piece is going to look like i'm going to put a picture up on the screen here of where it was the last time that you saw it um and i've just gone past the nine percent mark on this so i've I'm now at 9.04% and I've stitched 64,489 stitches. Let's turn that off now, it doesn't need to be on. So, oh, this is where we are at. So, just filling in this page here, you can see some of the, um, the flowers coming in. There are some big um, pink blooms down here. And then um, a lot more, more of the framework of this fan wheel. I don't really know what this is supposed to be. Maybe a fan. Yeah, it does kind of look that way. Um, yeah, so really, really enjoying it. I think I must be past the halfway or just at the halfway mark in terms of where the page ends sort of down here. So yeah, making really, really good progress with this. Um, I definitely think I'm going to reach 10% by the end of the year, which is going to be such a big achievement. Um, and I've been sort of thinking about my plans for next year um, and what I can do with this in terms of moving it forward. Um, because I just love working on it. I love seeing the progress. I love seeing the picture come to life. Um, and it just motivates me more to... To get going on it basically so um yeah there we go <laughs> um so that is the first one i've already worked on that for the day and it was lovely to chat to people at the retreat about um sort of they came past and were looking at it and were chatting to me about it and then there were a couple of ladies um who talked to me about starting theirs or restarting theirs. Yes, do it. Um, okay, so this next whip um, is Flea Market Flowers by Laurie Holt. Um, this is a stitch long I started with Laurie from Once Upon a Stitch. Um, we started in December the Back to the Flea Market sale and if you're stitching this you can feel free to join along. Um, I worked on this for three days and when you see my progress you won't be like, how, but I had some really busy evenings after work sort of sorting things out and so um, and I would have liked to get a second motif done but I um, I didn't have the motivation to keep it out for longer, basically. So this is where we're up to now. This is, um, I'll just show you it in full. Um, and then this time around, I worked on this box here. So I got that completed. So it looks really cool. This is a 32 count white linen and I'm using all the cord for DMC. And it is really pretty. This is a great project if you like doing some block stitching because it is, it's not sort of bitty in terms of changing this colour, changing that colour. Um, but it's like not loads of block stitching that you would get bored quickly. It's just like I said, I started, I was doing lots of things. And so like, yeah, I felt like I stitched like one flower a night, which is... <laughs> Oh, gee, it's just not enough, basically. Um, but it was just one of those things, isn't it? Um, so that is that. You just plug away at it. It's not the world's biggest pattern. So, I mean, when I pick it up again, I'll do this one. I'll just work my way across like that. Um, you've got these three thinner, thinner ones. Once these two are done... Yeah, I'll we'll just plug away at it like that. Okay. 
Okay, this is um, one of my new starts. So, um, oh, I don't have the cover photo. <laughs> um, I started the Mermaids of the Season stitch along by Bella Filipina. The first release came out on the 15th of September. So the day that I woke up for the Essex Needles retreat, the first part was sitting in my inbox. So I'm gonna put a picture up on the screen here of the first release. Um, I'm sure you've seen it lots of, uh, um, on social media. Um, but I took it to the retreat um, because my fabric turned up um, a couple of days before and my threads turned up um, a couple of days before so I wanted to make a start basically so I have um, all of the DMC I am I'm waiting on the Krynic and the beads um, so I ordered from um, Zarina at Hawkins Hobbies and so she sent me the DMC that she had and then is sending me the Krynic and the beads when they come back into stock again um, because yeah, when she ordered, they were out of stock. So, um, but I said to her, I don't need the chronic in the bead right now. I'm not gonna get around to doing all of it. So this is a piece of 28 count even weave from Megan at Coffee Craft Fabrics. Um, and she dyed this, especially for this project. So there are lots of people who have um, this sort of dye. Dye, that's the wrong word. Um, this, I don't really know how to describe it. Anyway, um, this is where we have got to so far. So I left um, too big a gap over here. So you can see, I've, I have got enough room to do the other one, but I think it might be, I might have like an inch gap over here, but it doesn't matter. Um, yes, yeah, so this is where we've got to so far. This, If I lean back here, this is sort of like the colour of the fabric, but it's more of like an... A this is showing it as more sky blue, whereas actually it's got more aqua. We've got an aqua tone to it. Mm, catch the sun. I don't know whether you're going to see the true colour of it. Right, that little sun patch down there. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, yeah, so I made a start. I started on um, the inside border because the outside border, border is chronic, which I don't have. And then I used the bottom of this to count off of to start the tail. So I stitched on this for two days while I was at the retreat. I was only going to stitch on it for one and then I, I couldn't put it down basically. So I continued on and that's how far I got. And I think it looks amazing. I just, um, I couldn't believe how quickly some people finished the first part. And there are lots of people that I've seen on social media who have finished it. And of course, if I didn't switch projects, I probably would have done, but still, like, there are some fast stitches out there. I think I might try doing the skin one over one on this project because there's le there's going to be less skin, even though there's four mermaids, there's going to be less skin um, than there would be on a full... Bella Filipina, I don't know, maybe there's going to be an equal amount, but I do think maybe I'll try, maybe I'll try one over one. Um, so I have got my mermaid floss drops and floss jewellery from my mermaid box. Again, these should be back on the shop again um, very, very quickly when my printer is fixed. <laughs> yeah. So that is that one, really, really enjoying it. Um, somebody asked me whether I was going to keep up with the stitch along and I straight away said no. Um, I'm not even going to pretend that that's going to happen. So, um, and I am completely and utterly happy with that. So that is that one. Um, let me show you another whip. This one is um, the Star Hunters by Soda Stitch. So I started this one for the My First Soda Sale um, that a few ladies were doing. I did a different pattern from them. They finished ages ago, but I'm still enjoying mine. So um, again, I took this to a retreat. I stitched on it at the retreat and then I stitched on it when I got home. 
I'm stitching this on a piece of, is it 32? Oh no, it's 25 count um, pink splash um, even weave from Zweigart. And this is where we are up to. So I think last time you saw this, I had the girls face in and this sort of little bit down here. So I put these sort of starry bits in up here and then I worked on getting her body done and this um, sort of like little saucepan that she's got in her hands started on her legs. Um, yeah, so I feel like I made, a, made really good progress on that. I'm stitching this using CXC threads. Um, and for this particular project, it's working absolutely fine. So I have all of the bobbinated threads in here. There's this one that I haven't used yet. And I ordered my CXC from Cross and Cross on Etsy. Um, so that's that one. And then the last bit that I've got to show you is also a new start. I finally got around to starting Summer Montage by Janet Stever. So yeah, I should have started this earlier in the summer and I just didn't get around to it. So I thought it was high time that I did. Um, let's just have a look how much I stitched. Um, go out of this one. So I think I stitched on it for two days. I'm trying to find it amongst the, me the mess that is my pattern keeper. Here we go. So I stitched um, 1,036 stitches and it's at 0.70%. So did a top, this is 25 count Lugana, one over one. And this is where we got to. Yeah, so this is the start of the um, flower here. Um, so yeah, you can see the leaves and then we've got the petals starting to come in. Yeah, really pretty colours. I'm using my summer floss drops. So these are the, these are the colours so far. And yeah, my summer floss drops. So um, yeah, I, I really like the seasonal montage patterns. They're um, really fun to stitch. So yeah, finally got that one started. Let's put this back in here. Done that. Done that. Let's have a little drink. Okay, um, I'll talk about one more shop update. So, I have finally got the Royal Broidery threads in the shop. So you can now order them from me. Um, to begin with, I've put a listing on my Etsy shop for a small order. So between one and 30 skeins. And I've done that to try and avoid long delays in between me selling out of a colour, ordering it, getting it back in again. So a, a small, a, some small orders to begin with, I think will allow me to work out what's popular, what I need to have more, more stock of, um, and et cetera, et cetera. So I think that will be the case maybe for the first couple of months. Um, yeah, and then we'll go from there. So, um, yeah, go check that listing out. Again, I will link it in the description box below. Um, I have, and the other thing is, I have all of the colours apart from 0, 01 to 35. Um, and that's because I thought that I had ordered those as part of the stock that I've currently got. But it turns out I don't have those and I've had to order those separately and I'm waiting for those to come now. Um, so I'm guessing it will take another couple of weeks for those to arrive. Um, 
So I've put a note on the Etsy listing just saying, for now, you can't order those colours, but as soon as they're back in stock, I will let you know. Um, so yeah, I'm really, really excited. I hope you guys will give them a go. Um, I really enjoy stitching with them. I put my review of them up on my channel before I even thought about um, stocking them as a thread. Um, so you can go check that out. I think it's just like stitching with DMC. Like I can't see much difference at all, really, if any. So um, yeah, go check them out. Give them a go. It's a good alternative to have, isn't it? Um, so let's do haul because because we went to a retreat and we bought some things. <laughs> of course we did. Uh, so I thought I would share them with you here. So let me just grab this box. Let's put this over here. Grab my haul box. Okay, so go through the various bits and pieces. So firstly, I grabbed a copy of this book. This was before I went to the retreat. Um, I saw Brenda from Handwork Maniac. She put up a video a couple of weeks ago now and she hauled this book. Um, and I really liked some of the pictures on the front cover. So I, I went on eBay and you can pick up, certainly in the UK anyway, um, really reasonably priced um, copies of this. So it's Jill Gordon's cross stitch pictures. Um, and it has also, look at this peacock on the back. Fabulous. It has some really nice bits in here, some really sort of florally, naturey um, type pieces. Um, let's see if I can find the one that I particularly liked. There's lots of giraffes in here, some zebras. Um, I think probably the tiger is one of my favourites. So you've got tiger in the lily lake. He's really lovely. Um, and then we've got... Oh, this one's a cool one. Um, formal garden. They've made this into a cushion, but you could just do it as a picture. Those greyhound statues. Um, yeah, and this is the peacock one. And again, you don't have to finish this as a cushion. He's fabulous. She? I don't know. Yeah, really, really lovely. So... I have a nice little collection of cross stitch books. Um, I like adding to my collection, I like having options. So that is that. What else do we have in here? Oh, okay. So, um, Arts and Designs finally got this pattern back in stock. Um, Again, Brenda and um, Colette, the Highway Stitcher, they do an October to October stitch along and they do pick a different pattern every year. Um, and I probably won't stitch this alongside them. I may do, but I might not. But the one that they're starting this October is, um, oh, my French is terrible. This one here, Jardin Privé. I don't have any pe patterns from them so far, but it's like a seasonal birdhouse pattern. Um, yeah, so you sort of go from winter up here with the sort of snowflakes and the fir tree and then you move all the way along to sort of like autumn down here with the pumpkin and the autumnal leaves. It's really cute though. So um, I Arts and Designs didn't have it in stock, um, but they have a feature on there where you can put in your email to be notified when they do have it in stock and it came back in and so I got it. Ow. <laughs> oh no, that's going to leave a bruise. <laughs> um, okay. Oh, Facebook D-Stash. Somebody was doing a kit D-Stash and um, they were D-Stashing this, which I'd had on a wish list for a while. So this is peonies for needlewoman just thought the colors in this are very very pretty and i like the sort of crafty vibe that it has to it 
she had started it so you can see here it has been started so i got it for a bit of a cheaper price but it doesn't bother me that it's been started i mean there's so little of it that you could just unpick that if you wanted to um but yeah it has everything in here oh, pause I'm, I'm doubting that now i was looking for the thread but no it's okay the threads are in here oh dear okay so i've got that one um okay here we go a few things um i got my fabric of the month from megan at coffee craft fabrics it's a 32 count even weave and this is like an aquary blue color again it's not really showing it properly on camera this is showing more as like a sky blue but yes, yeah, so I got that one. Um, and she also sent with it the Sleepy Hollow kit that I ordered. So earlier in the year, she was offering to dye fabric and kit up for you various different patterns. And I did Sleepy Hollow and a Christmas pattern, which I can't remember. It might be a... I can't remember. Anyway, some sort of... Christmas list pattern I don't know anyway so this is um Sleepy Hollow from Glendon Place I've seen this around and I quite like it I'm not really into Halloween but I've never stitched a Glendon Place before so I sort of um jumped at the opportunity to do it um so she sent along um a piece of 28 count even weave in the size that you needed and then um, the beads, the chronic and the Karen water lilies that you need to do it as well. So I just need to get the DMC for this, basically. Um, it's not too bad a list. Well, maybe a bit longer than you'd like. So, um, so that's not going to be a this year start. Um, okay, I think the rest is retreat haul. Let's just grab all this out of here. Yeah. Um, oh, a couple of... I got this this um, lavender and lace pattern. This came up for such a good price on eBay. I couldn't... This is an out-of-print lavender and lace, and somebody was selling it for a ridiculously good price. This is very grandmother. Um and I just really liked the colour of her wings and things. And I've seen a couple of people stitching this and it looks so good. Um, but again, the picture just doesn't do it justice. So I picked that up. Um, okay, let's go through the retreat stuff. So there was a lovely lady who came to the retreat from, from Florida um, called Mary Ann. And before... Um, sort of a few months before the retreat was happening she put a message on the Facebook group offering to buy some people some DMC if they wanted it from for obviously for a cheaper price so I took her up on her offer and um, so I kitted a few things up um, let's leave that until last so I kitted up um, the DMC for Winter White Santa um, this one here. I'm starting this with Lauren from Cross Stitch Bunny um, in December. So these are all of the DMC that I need for that. So I think I'm missing a couple of Krynik now and some um, of that Whisper thread. And then that will be a full kit. She also sent me the DMC for... Nightingale by Mirabilia. Um, this was a kit that again Megan offered from Coffee Craft Fabrics, but I just I I went with the no DMC option and um, and then therefore needed DMC. Um, so yeah, these are all of the DMCs that I need for Nightingale. Um, and I had already while I'm here I had already. Megan had already sent on the fabric that you needed, so I went for like the brownie pink option, this one here. But while I was at the retreat, I picked up this piece of 28 count evenly. And I think I prefer 
that colour. I could use this for something else, but you tell me what you think. I think it will look really stunning on this piece here. It's like, it's more pink than it is brown. Yeah. So what do you think, this one or this one? I think this one, but yeah, I would love to hear your opinions. Um, and then... The third a lot of DMC that I got was for um, my Christmas village Afghan my by Stony Creek. Yeah, this was the remaining DMC for that. There's a lot in here. So um, yeah, and she was so kind. Oh no! Oh, let's see where I can sponge that off. I'll show you that in a second. Um, they all came in this lovely bag from her. Um, she put a card in there saying thank you. And she also included a few of these um, silks here. So a couple of Krynic silk morries. Um, so she, she said, when I was there, she said, I'll pick a couple out of the box. And then this one was in the bag. This is a Soise Alger from Krynic. So yeah, I've never had silks like that before. So it was so lovely. And she was so, so generous like, and such a lovely lady. So um, yeah, I'm so glad to have met her. Um, yeah, and uh, the other bit of haul, put that over there. Uh, this is now living in a bag that I bought from Susie while I was at the retreat. So it's a lovely flat bottom bag and it has this really lovely robin mushroom um ivy it's not ivy what do you call it can't remember anyway material this lovely red trim and then a really lovely green zip at the top really thick vinyl and this is what you have to be careful of with these vinyl bags is that you don't transfer things so for example Mary Ann wrote on the bag what the threads were for she very quick very kindly um divided them up and now I've had it in here and it's transferred so um I'm going to have to um see if I can wipe that off basically I should be able to okay so that's that I also got a project bag while I was there from, um, on the Saturday, there was a shop there called Jess Gets Stitching and she was selling project bags. So I bought this one. It's a nice Halloween bag and I immediately put Raven in it from um, Nora Corbett. So um, yeah, she has these lovely rainbow zips, um, vinyl front. Um, and just some sort of plainy beige fabric on the inside. But yeah, really, really lovely. She was nice. She was nice. Oh, Marianne also came round. Oh, where's that gone? Oh, it's in here. And she gave everybody one of these sort of like zip charms. It looks like a little angel, doesn't it? It's beautiful. They were handmade. I think she said her husband made them. So, um, yeah, and these, this lovely little bag. So now that I've shown it to you, I can put it on one of my projects. Um, another piece of fabric that I bought from Megan is this um, 28 count even weave in like a lovely purple colour. I really like that. So don't have a project in mind. I think it screams Halloween, but this could be a good one to stitch... Um, Halloween Quaker on from Nyla Studio. I don't own the pattern, but it could be a good one. So I got that. And then I got some D-Stash stuff. So, um, a few patterns, firstly. Let's go for those first. Um, well, Deborah was, was actually de-stashing this on Facebook and then she said oh do you want me to just bring it to the retreat and I said yes this is um Seasons of the Heart Summer by the Blue Flower 
thought was really adorable. Um, I think that, that could look good on some blue fabric actually, some like light blue fabric. So yeah, I got that. Susie um, was de-stashing some patterns and I picked up um, Cupid by Nora Corbett. It's part of her Christmas Eve Couriers series. So you can get all of the reindeer and the sleigh as part of the set. It's not really a collection that I need to start, but I need to just, I, I did need to start the collection really, because I do like them. So yeah, Cupid. And I also got from her um, Kringles from Little House Needleworks. I've been wanting this one for a while. Um, yeah, there's lots of people stitching this or who have stitched this. So yeah, this is a mixture of DMC and classic colour works. We'll see. And then I got some kits. Um, we did a pass the stash on Saturday. Was it Friday? No, it was Friday night. Pass the stash game. Um, and you had to bring some, some uh, like um, a present basically with some stash in it. Um, and we played a game where we passed it along, basically. Um, and I got um, a lovely big um, plastic project bag. And it had in it a bag of squashies, which I ate over the course of the next couple of days. Um, some lovely hand cream, which I have upstairs. And this Dimensions um, Petite Kit coffee shop. Which is like the perfect thing for me to get. Um, I love dimensions kits i love kits in general and i had been looking at these shop ones um and yeah love the ye old vibes of them so i got that one i'm really really pleased with it um and then d stash wise i got let me take the label off of this can i very quickly or well, a lovely lady called Tash was de-stashing um, Ornate Butterfly, another petite kit from Dimensions. And, and I'd had my eye on that for a while. Really decent price. So I grabbed that. Um, I've been looking at this one for a while um, and that had actually just missed out on a Facebook de-stash of it, but ended up getting it for way cheaper than the de-stash price. Um, and this is Creative Accents All Seasons. Um, and it is a stamped kit, which I haven't done before. But every time I see this pattern, I just love the vibe of it. Um, so we'll see how we get on with the stamped kit. Yeah. Um, I don't know if the actual pattern is in here. Let's just have a look at whether you could, because I, I might try it stamps, but whether you could just stitch it, get a separate piece of fabric and just stitch it. I mean, it, it looks like you can. I might be tempted to do that. Yeah. I think I might, yeah, I'm going to do that. I'll get a separate piece of fabric. There we go, decision made. Put that back in there. Um, and then the last thing that I got was a lovely gift. Oh, actually, I bought, I picked up a nerd hoop. So we were talking about them at the retreat. And so I ordered one from Hobby Jobby. Um just to try out basically as an alternative to a Q-snap. Um, and I, I've started trying it out for the first time today. So I started stitching on this this morning. Just did a few little leaves and flowers here. Um, and I'm liking it so far, but I will report back on that. Um, and so the last thing that I got was a lovely kit um, that was gifted to me from the lovely Alison. Um, and she messaged me um, and said that she had this kit. She was going to put it on the d stash table, but that she would save it for me if I wanted it um, because she knows I like collecting kits. 
um, and stitching kits. So this is Sacred Connection by Dimensions. It's a gold collection kit and it's beautiful. Just like the way that the nature is inter um, intertwined, like the animals are intertwined with nature. So you've got like the, the shadow of the cat, you've got like the note, the dog here in the rocks and you've got the eagle in the rocks. And then he's sort of like dressed in this very bird-like outfit. It's it's amazing. It's really lovely. So um, I've never had a Dimensions kit that came in a bag before. But it has everything in it that you need. So the fabric is in there, which is a 18-count um, Navy Ada. The pattern and all of the threads um so it's it's unsorted but they're all they're all in there so yeah thank you very much Alison I really do appreciate it it's a very kind and very generous gift let's have a little drink so I think I'm all stashed out for a little while I just work on what I've got which is a lot um yeah so we'll talk about life just before i go off and and have some lunch basically um yeah like i said i had a really lovely um time at the retreat last weekend um it was lovely to go back and know some people from before i felt much more comfortable um i had some lovely conversations with people i felt yeah like i said i felt more comfortable um, and I suppose you can see that because I did do that retreat video this time. I felt comfortable enough to do that. Um, so that was um, that was great. And I am looking forward to seeing everybody again in November. Um, yeah, and then I am booked on to next March's retreat. So there we go. <laughs> um, yeah, and then other things of life. Bella seems to have settled really well in preschool. This will be her fourth week now um and she is really really enjoying it um my mum went on holiday last week and she's back this week so they were in venice for a few days which sounded amazing the pictures look incredible so um yeah but it was it's nice to have her back um and we're just sort of plodding along um enjoying life enjoying the weather enjoying autumn um yeah <laughs> um so i think that's everything it probably isn't but um that's what i can remember right now <laughs> um so yeah if you have any comments or questions please feel free to leave them down below i love chatting to you guys as always um, I'm going to be putting some new needle minders up on the shop in the next couple of days. So um, if you're a needle minder fiend like I am, then please do go check those out. Check out the threads, check out the Hello Autumn pattern um, and kit. I would, yeah, thank you very much for your support with the shop as well. I really, really do appreciate it. Each and every sale is always such a buzz for me. Um, and I always get such a rush from good reviews. Um, so, yeah, thank you very much. Um, I'm going to love you and leave you. So I hope you all have a lovely day and a lovely couple of stitchy weeks. And I will see you soon. Bye.